Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Morning. Who do I have in the studio with me? Hi, I'm Dr. Ellen Lowry. And I'm Patricia Mercer. Well, ladies, thank you so very much. And we're going to talk about National Animal Disaster Preparedness Day. That's correct. All right, then, if you give us, start us off, Dr. Lowry. A absolutely. Um, the second Saturday in May is National Animal Disaster Preparedness Day. And uh, Hills Pet Nutrition has partnered with shelters across North America for several years now to raise awareness about um, how to be prepared, not only for yourself, but for your pet family in the event of a disaster. And so one of the things that we'd like to start with is just having an emergency go kit available with several bottles of water, several days of food, um, a leash, a collar, um, a blanket, a toy, the things that you can easily pack in a pet emergency go kit bag to grab in case you need to leave your home with your pet. Okay, so they need one like the people need a, ba a, a bag. Absolutely. Okay, Ms. Mercer, you're president of the Houston SPCA. What can you add to the conversation? Well, I'd like to say that, that no matter what community you live in, you always should be prepared for disaster. No one is immune from, from uh, natural disasters, sometimes even man-made disasters like plant explosions and so forth. Uh, but um, certainly I echo the fact that we, you need to be prepared. Just very recently in Houston, just weeks ago, we we experienced record flooding with some areas receiving 20 inches of rain in a very short period of time. And, um, and so we were, the people who fared best were certainly the people who had a, a plan in place um, and, and uh, uh, including your pet in your family's plan is always very important. Uh, I will say that, that we relied heavily on Hills Pet Nutrition uh, and the National Disaster Relief Network that they've put together. Uh, they shipped in thousands of pounds of pet food to help the folks who were displaced by those floods uh, in the aftermath. So they're a great corporate partner and, and so they, they put together a website with uh, some wonderful information on how you can prepare. It's hillspet.com slash pet prepared and you can also go to their Facebook page uh, which is Hills Pet Nutrition. Okay, great. Let me ask you, Dr. Lowry, if you should get separated from your pet, because that's what we see on the news, a lot of people going back looking for their pets, is there any uh, 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 routine or what can we follow on that? Yeah, that's a great question. And, and in the event that you're separated from your pet, a couple of great things. Um, make sure you have a current picture of them, and that's pretty normal these days with smartphones um, so that they can be recognized and identified. Use your social um, Facebook page or your social network, but most importantly, contact your local shelter because they're probably going to be the place that your pet is going to be taken to if it's found. Also, your local veterinary clinics. Um, and certainly if you're able to get back into the area when it's safe, you might be looking for favorite places that you might have taken your pet, or oftentimes they're, if the home is still standing, they're hiding somewhere um, in the home. So be aware of all those types of things, but most importantly, check with your local shelter. Ms. Mercer, um, I, I, we lived through Hurricane Katrina. New Orleans is my mm -hmm. home, I wasn't involved, but people had a database to go and look for their loved ones? Is there something like that for pets? Well, there's no national database, but, but most every animal shelter across the country has some software program that is available. You have to keep in mind that, that it, as wonderful as technology is, though, that during the event of a disaster, sometimes that's not available to you. 
but so so your local animal shelter depending on the disaster is going to be able to di you know direct you to what you're going to be able to uh, you know the you know the best course of action um, I all I worked during uh, in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina so I know how devastating that was and in the end and Hurricane Rita uh, affected the Gulf Coast uh, uh, sh uh, just weeks after Hurricane Katrina so um, it's a uh, uh, there was a uh, I know in, in Hurricane Katrina there were many many animals that were displaced and uh, one of the things that you have to remember if you are evacuating though is not to leave your pet behind if at all possible um, you need to try your very best to keep your family intact and that includes your pets so when you leave home leave with your pets that's great advice uh, Dr. Lowry, thank you so very much. And Ms. Mercer, once again, give me that website so my audience can go there. It's hillspet.com slash pet prepared, or you can go to the Facebook page for Hills Pet Nutrition. I want to thank you ladies for giving us information that we can use, and you know we can always use that in Dallas. We just had a storm last night, so thank you so very much. Thanks so you much. Bet. Thanks for having me.